out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when the streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the There's a jungle out there Hi, good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch and we are back Top of the evening to you, all those of you who are locked on online, a special good evening to you, all those of you who are looking at us from wherever, wherever, wherever in the world that you are looking at, looking at me from, a special good evening. Apparently something is wrong with my CG bar. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the monitor, yeah, so much, so much things to put up, so much things to put up. All those of you who are looking at me live and a special good evening to you, all those on the app and boy, 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 boy. You know, th you know, this afternoon, in fact, it's the 24th of June, 24th, tomorrow is the 25th, Sunday is the 26th, 27th, 28th. You know, just now is Montana, eh? and you can't pay your rent, you can't pay courts, you can't pay standards, you can't, you can't, um, the, the month ends on Wednesday. Yeah. You know, today, the 30th of June, you know, today, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really sad. I spoke to a single mother today. And this woman just started to cry on the phone, like cry. And she said, Ian, you're the only person. But what, what can I really do? What can I really do? I mean, I, I, as much as I can, I, I'll try. And there's so many people I'm being bombarded with calls for hampers and this and that and food stuff. And just, every, every day, every day, every day. Nobody really don't call to report crime. We just, today somebody tell me there was a zest party. As there's a party somewhere in Kelly, there are a lot of police officers, there are a lot of people in somewhere in Kelly. They sent me a location. But I really don't have time for that. People are hungry. It's Montan. It's Montan and the bank want their money. They want their money for their credit card. They want their money for their loans. They want their money for, I mean, somebody just WhatsApp me and asks me, could courts not come and repossess? Yes, they can repossess. Once you take things, once you take things on higher purchase and you can't pay for it, they're going to come. They're going to come. They're going to come. They're going to come. There are a lot, of, lot, of, there are a lot, a lot of people, ladies and gentlemen. We need to face that reality. There's a lot of people out there who's going to be out of a house come, ne come next month, come next week. They're going to be on the streets. It's a sad picture to paint, but I'm, not, but, I, but I'm telling you what's going to happen. What's going to happen? And that is why I'm so, you know, upset. I'm really, 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 really saddened about it. People are going to be uh, on the streets with their children, nothing to eat. And oh, we got grants. We got the grant. You got the grant. Government did this. Government did that. The amount of money passed through our hand in this, in this pandemic from March to now. But now, let me tell you something. Every minister, every minister right on the, on the, on, on the press conference brought, bought a nice van for about maybe 900000 paid tax for uh, paid tax, I think, $40,000 or whatever. It's just it's crazy. And nobody cares. Somebody asked me how, how you can really remove rowdy from power. I don't think the constitution gives that kind of accommodation. With, uh, but we might, you know, there must be an election. Or do the honorable thing like the late Prime Minister Patrick Manning call, a, call an election. Because we, we have lost trust. The people have lost trust in you. There's nothing that this government could do to regain your confidence. Nothing, 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 nothing. It is just sad. It is just sad. There's some people who are sitting on their sofas now. It's all gone next week. But, I mean, our next government coming in power, we'll have to do what they have to do. We'll have to do what we have to do. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this man running this place right down, yeah? He running this place down. 
because I told somebody yesterday, somebody told me, and I want to apologize to a lot of my viewers. A lot of my viewers turned out, had, apparently it was, it, it was like a fiber optic break with respect to the transmission. Because a lot of persons, you, you'll be surprised to know. Do you know when I put up Rowley on my show? Yeah, people take off their TVs because they're so upset. And I get so many calls. Yeah, yes, I got a lot, a lot of calls. People said, why you keep putting this man? We don't want to see this man. There are people who don't even listen to the press conference. People are fed up and they are dealing with their own issues. They are dealing with their, their own issues. Why, 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 why? He, he lies and lies and lies and lies and lies and just lying every day. I was chatting with a young lady a, a while ago. Alyssa, good evening to you. And they're just telling me that, you know, just things. You're hearing all kind of things. You're hearing all kind of things. People just struggling, boy. Way, boy. Way, 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 way. They're struggling. They're struggling. There are people crying out for hampers. I have given hampers all over Trinidad. You've given thousands and thousands of hampers. But how much can one, one agency like Crime Watch, like Ian Allen, Ian Allen, how, how, how much I can really do? But I will continue. But people are hungry. Pe people are hungry. They are hungry. And this situation here, ladies and gentlemen, this, whatever went on in the world, out there, if we had, if this was managed properly, the deaths could have been less. Of course, we would have had cases of corona, but the deaths would have been less. I sent something today, and you would be you'd be surprised to know what they give the doctor state. You'll have that that little uh, pitch fo yeah, the photo I sent. I don't know if that is curry. I don't know if that, I don't know what is that. I don't know what is that. It's, it, it's in a Styrotex container. Somebody sent that to me today, and I, I it, it looked like a bread and a little section of uh, uh, some dal or something. That's what they're giving doctors today to eat. It's just crazy. And, boy, so many people dying. And today we have seven deaths, 775 deaths so far in Trinidad and Tobago. And all we wanted was the vaccine. If I only get the vaccine, I will be all right. That is all we wanted. Enough. Yeah. That is all I wanted. Enough. Look at this. That is what they're giving doctors. That is what doctors get to eat. After nine days, a, a, a shift for maybe 13 hours or 12 hours, that is what they're getting. That is what they're risking their life for. That is what the government giving them. That is what doctors eating in Trinidad. I want the whole world to see it. Nobody cares about us. You know? Nobody, listen me, this man has sold this place. This man has sold, has sold this place. When I see how many people die, even in Devon, right, Chagona is here. Ex- the, the market guy, the guy from the market died. The bipolary people and them. Next to Greasy Spoon, the guy died. The, 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 the old guy, the, the ageable guy, right? I say, oh, the ageable guy who had only mass and they sell the pylori and whatnot. And I all normally go there and buy pylori. And imagine what they, boy, this place is just crazy. Fish died and all too. A guy called Fish. He's a, a prominent. Well, he's a, 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 a cricketer in the, in, the, in, the, in the Endeavor Sports Club and whatnot. He died also today. Now, leave his pity for me, please. And it's really, really sad. It's really, really sad. It is sad. But, you know, that's why I get upset every day, that all this could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. As much as there's a pandemic and as much as we are part, we are in that pandemic, and as much as there's a virus, if we had the vaccine, vaccine sneaking in, and, I would, I would, and I, you know, somebody told me something last night. There are more vaccine, more Pfizer vaccine in this country. They got caught with, the, with, that, with that batch of vaccine that came in two Saturdays ago. Remember when it came in and the ambulance picked it up and whatnot, and, and um, it came on the flight? Nobody knew, nobody knew on that flight that, that in fact, it, it, it had that vaccine. Nobody knew. It's just, wow. All I needed was the vaccine. What's go, here now, what people are going to do? Tell me what people are going to do. 
And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something here. Eh? While all that going on, while all that going on, people have nothing to eat. You studying commissioner, police. You want you study now. You study to lock down this, lock down this one, lock down that one. Hold on. Somebody sent me something. Some guy from um. Yeah. This is what he said. Every bar slot machine is six thousand. Every roulette is a hundred and twenty thousand. You know, people paid. You know, people paid. Hold on, people paid. People paid for their license and their machines. So the place locked down. Who's going to compensate them? So it come like the it come like the it come like the government rape the bar owners. So when they said they open back, remember, you remember March and April. It's time for license and whatnot with respect to those the owners of bars. But no, around that period. So you have to get your act together, make your machine, it's everything, everything, you pay your taxes and whatnot. But if the place closed, oh, you can take my money. So who's going to give me back my money now? Who's going to give me back my money? I tell you, it's just a thief in government. You know? It's just a thief in government. It's just a thief in government. You know, these fees are already difficult to pay because you need to pay for the entire year at once. From the past, this industry has been victimized by government with regards to taxes. Originally, roulette was 30,000, then they doubled it to 60,000, and finally doubled it again to 120,000. And don't come and tell me family. Oh, it is break up family. Horn in this break up family too. Drink in this break up family too. Gambling, okay, but any minister of health, when you see cigarettes, cigarettes being advertised and whatnot, as they say, well, the minister of health tell you that cigarettes and whatnot, blah, 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 you know, it's not good for your health. Alcohol too. So you lock down a whole, a whole industry, well, we'll go Atlantic City and where's the next place again, I'm, I'm the next place again? Vegas, go Las Vegas. I've been to Mohican Sun a couple times. Go to, to um, Atlantic City and let them know. It's a big industry. It's a big industry. They're, they're in, a lot of people employed. And while all people are hungry, look what you're doing, people. So you're taking away my freedom of choice. If, okay, if I like a little machine and thing, and I like I go sit down with a little beer, I go sit down, okay, we sit down, we go drink something, chuck a dollar, Get some roasting and the little cutters and thing, and you get some jones. <laughs> Look at spinning the press, I think so. Three monkey go so. Well, you can take all the monkey, the roulette machine, and put around the face now. He, Faris, and them. Yeah, you know the one with the little monkey? Take off the, take, take off the monkey face and put Faris and Rowley and them and call him both in the machine. If all the soul want to control things or change the images on the, on the gambling machine, on, on the roulette machines and whatnot, on those. Slot machines. But it's sad, it's sad. They're doubling everything. They're doubling it, ladies and gentlemen. They're doubling it. And I'm just reading something for you. For a small bar paying 120000 is no is, is no ordinary. Now, I'm reading what a bar owner sent me. Eh? It's no ordinary thing, but we make it work. If it wasn't for the roulette and the slot machine, many bars cease to exist. Now, we are not sure whether these machines would be allowed in bars. So what it... What to happen? What will happen to the small, the small uh, business and employees? So you should come and take that from the bar owners and telling me what? Telling me, hear what they're saying now. Uh, oh, gambling is break up, friend. Thiefing from the government. Thiefing when you're in a position that is break up too. But that is blight money. That is blight money. The nine the people, the, the nine citizens, their rights. Making sure that children don't have devices. Doing people all kind of thing in a pandemic. Make, and, and people hungry and lying about grant. That don't break up home too? Rowley, that does break up home too? Boy. We sat time, yes? We sat time. We sat time. All, person said, all I need to say just because slot machines for bars are 6,000 doesn't mean that all... That's all we pay. It will never be profitable to run these machines with less than eight. Therefore, it is. It therefore it's no actually forty eight thousand we have to pay. I can speak. I can't speak for my. I can speak for myself and other bar owners. Paying taxes is not a problem. However, the manner in which they have they want to do it so difficult. But the real problem is wondering if my business will be able to reopen. So the, I mean that is a view. 
shared by a lot of people and then I, I joined a bar a bar group and what now just, just to hear from them I'm one of some group there you know I just I, they add me on just to hear and it's sad it's sad you're selling up the machines and look ladies and gentlemen all that going on all that going on all that going on Kezi all that going on all that going on and look they, you know what they want to do now they want to privatize the port they, send a, they, they sent out a memorandum. Look at it. Transition Committee, private estate, out of the port, of Spain port. You see this man is a no good boy. Anytime you sell all the port, we done it. Let me I tell you, we rent in here, you know. This man has to go, you know. This man, I, you know, I have never really said it like this, yeah, but Rowley has to go, you know. The opposition and whoever have ambition, Everybody had to get their act together now, you know? and this is serious business. You know? the, the opposition senators and the MPs and whatnot, don't put the foot on the issue no more. You know? Come down their throat and you know? ride up their chest, you know? ride up their chest in the parliament. You know? I mean, like literally, ride, you know, ride up their chest. You know? you know, some people go kind of spark up things and say, Boy, you're not know, inciting this and inciting. It's not a matter of inciting, but yeah, we have to start to rock this boat now. This man has to go. Where are you going to live? I can't take this with him again, you know. I cannot take this with him again. I cannot. I am fed up. The man is a bitter man. And just like Patrick Manning said, when you carry bitterness with you, it what? It's something your vision. When you carry bitterness, it, it, it impairs your vision. You can't see the future. You can't see citizens because you're bitter. You're bitter with bar owners. You're bitter with Kamala and them. You're bitter with your own people. You're bitter with Tobago people. Remember when you tell Tobago people they're going to suffer if they vote? If they vote for PNM, I'm sure we can get back that. Get it back for me. He said it on our front page. He said they will suffer. You're bitter, so it impairs your vision, Rowley. It's and nothing nobody can tell you again. Nothing, nothing nobody can tell you. Absolutely nothing. They're going to privatize the port. Now, let me read it for you. In 2020, 2021 budget presentation, the government of the Republic of Trent Tobago and non government plans to privatize the port under a public private partnership agreement. Let me tell you something. You know what Rowley wants to do? Rowley not unsigned to nobody, but let me tell you something. See how Rowley operating? Rowley operate as a man who unsigned to somebody. Rowley unsigned to the 1%. The 1% is running this country. The 1% is running this country. And once they take over the port, drugs could come in. Drugs could come in. All kind of things could come in. They don't take over tongue already. They don't take over tongue. They don't make business. People close down and they're breaking down this building, breaking down that building. All kind of thing going on. Just for the 1%. You have betrayed the 99 and you have 1% in your hand and you have betrayed the 99 to make sure the 1% belly full, to make sure the 1% bring the vaccine and, ha and have us and have and have us the 99% like dog. We have to find borrow, steal, beg, and borrow to come and take that vaccine that the 1% will bring. And the 1% will bring it. And look, they know they're going to privatize the port. Go ahead again. Further to the above port authority has directed the government by government to proceed with arrangement to issue an expression of interest which is called an EOI for a private partner for the Port of Spain the Port of Spain port via the landlord model in four operations area cargo operation cargo operation at Port of Scarborough regional cargo activities at Caricom Waves Wharf, sorry, cruise ship business in Trinidad and Tobago. The board wish to advise that the above project is being managed by public-private partnership transition committee made up of members of board and management. Who are the persons on this board? Who's responsible? Who playing with my bread and butter in the port? Who playing with it? Let me tell you something. What Rowley is doing to you? You remember when it had 1990? They said 1990 set back the country. So far, when, you know there are places, I, did, I remember. When 1990, I had just gotten a, a little job in town. I had just gotten a job in town by Riverside Plaza. Right? I mean, I was nobody, a normal person. And I will never forget the Friday, a friend of mine and I, she died of cancer. So sad. We're going to church. And 
I bought doubles from a girl called Susan. I don't know what I ever became of her, but a nice East Indian girl, she had like a, she sell doubles in India, it's Susan boy, on a height, and everybody buying doubles, i never forget this, my grandfather and everybody was alive, but so sad, but what I'm trying to tell you is that what, how 1990 set back this country, we are, between December, between Feb, between between March last year to now, but we have we we in the con the people this country, we must have faced about five coup at, coup already, five of that, five of that, not one of that. What this man is doing to Trinidad, Trinidad will be no more, you know. That is why we have to go. That is why people from Trinidad going to, to Guyana to get vaccine, you know. Going to Guyana to get vaccine, you know. And now you telling me now you privatizing the port, you come in to play with port workers, bread and butter boy. You come in to do that. How you can come and do that in a time like this? How you can come and in a time like this where it has no money and it has no food and the landlord putting you out with your children and the mattress in the road and the, the, the stove on the side of the road and the man who come to pick up the, 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 the furniture, he, he don't want 200, he want four. It's all kind of antics because everybody wants to live. All we want to do is live. And, you, and, all, and all that going on, but you know you ain't studying? Lock, watch me, lock off. Lock off the public uh, police service commission. Remove Gary and bring a man from Tobago. Let me pick a man. Let me pick a po uh, commissioner of police that could lock up all here because he know, Rowley know it's going to have things happen in this country. People going to start to talk. People going to start to march on the road. People going in front of the government building and start to ball. People go, port workers go start to ball. Wasa workers go start to ball. So you have to make sure and get rid of Gary before. Because Gary can't have compassion on the people. That's why Gary didn't lock up the homeless for mass. He said, I'm not doing it. That's why Gary said, I'm going everybody else and lock them up. Why are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? So you realize he can't control the man. So he had to make sure and pick a man. Pick a man where he can control. Rowley not looking for speed and he's looking for control. He's looking for control. You're coming by port workers. You're coming to put people on the road, boy. What you have to do this for now? What, what this, what this bring it to me? What they bring it to my sister and my brother and them who renting, boy? What you trying to do? You want people to go mad? And this is, listen to me. What we are facing here, right? This economic crisis. If this was managed properly, partner, we would not have had 775 deaths so far. I would not have put up pity, my, my friend and them pity like Frankie, Frankie and the policeman from Charlieville. I would not have, I would not have put up and, and say, I'm sorry for ex family in Dendeva. I'm sorry for fish family. I know he lost the young girl, now they lost fish. I'm sorry, I know fish and them when I go by Rago and Double R and with Lyman. I know fish and them don't pass me straight. I, 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 I tell fish, don't call me no boss, don't call me no Ian Allen. I from the, we, we, we from the endeavors. We from the central. I proud to know my friend Arnie and Kamal and all of them. Proud, we proud, we proud, I am proud of endeavor people. But you're playing with my bread and butter, proud of chocolate chocolate and them, but you're playing with our bread and butter. Look, you're coming now. Let me tell you something, Rowley, you have to go and as, as go as light lighting as I stand before you, I am not going to stop you now. I am not, don't come and tell me every day, Rowley, 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 Rowley. Every day I have to expose these people and them. I don't want the money from you, the partner. I might be hungry, buying, starving. I might want the money. You could bring it in the ad. But let me tell you something, I want nothing from you. Our pride, I don't want nothing from you. You're suffering the people. Let me tell you something like, like Pharaoh. Let the people go. God will start to tell on you, you know. 
Rowley, God will start to tell you, you see this approach you have. You don't care about people. You don't care about the single mothers. You don't care about the mason. You don't care about the hardware owners. You don't care about the bar owners. You pressure on them. You pressure on them. Why people pressure on them? Them selling apartments in town for nine million. Them bringing big building. Them buying yacht. Every day, they, every day they're buying Benz in town. Every week they're buying Benz in town. And I just can't. Get, I cannot get a vaccine. You may. You all just squander the money and make us beg like dog. We begging like dog up the islands. Imagine now, what they say? Bangladesh, Zimbabwe, and Uganda. Yeah, what they say? We among the poor nations. Trinidad and Tobago, La Trinity. You have put a curse on this nation. A curse, a curse on this nation, Rowley. A curse. And only your friends, only your friends, only your friends, only your friends gain land. Only your friends could get currently land. Only your friends and finances of the PNM could get stuff. And you telling me now, you come to take my brother and sister from the poor the money now? You, you look up the you look up the street vendors, you look up everybody. When time to open hard, where they're picking areas, where you where you ever hear that? Rain didn't fall here, rain didn't fall here, rain didn't fall here. Where, where I want to tell you where rain didn't fall here. You, you, boy, if I tell you, if I really stand, I already tell you where, where, which one the way the rain didn't fall. But you see that chair and look up to me. Tell people look up to me. I'm my cousin here on it. It's real bad. But you see when I write, when I know I somebody doing my injustice, I can't take that. I can't take that. Port boy, <laughs> all that going on, all that going on. I have something to tell you. I'm going to tell you something. You know a man driving a fake police car today? A policeman driving a fake police car to catch him when we come back. Perfect. We at SNS Prasad know the struggle and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee a safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our station, lanes, trolleys, and baskets. Security to ensure observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing station throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household, and clothing items to meet the need of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities. Or even better, place an order for your groceries and we'll have it delivered to your doorstep, where we accept both cash and licks. At Dennis Prasad, Rio Claro and My Arrow, we are here for you. Organifi Green is the number one gently dried superfood. Increase mental capacity and reduce stress with ashwagandha, the major ingredient in the superfood blend. Feel relaxed and reduce stress with a solid dose of antioxidants in the Alkaline Greens blend. Available at pharmacies nationwide or contact Gradient Health and Fitness, the sole distributor for Organifi and TNT today. RDK Welding and Fabricating is your only choice for windows, gates, handrails and more. We have expert craftsmen on hand to fabricate any design with the highest grade materials at affordable prices. Check out our latest sale on heavy duty security steel doors. Visit us next to the Diwali Nagar and Shikwanas or call 317-2236 or 719-0115 to speak with a sales rep. RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited, the king in fabricating. generations. Hard work and good advice have been essential. So when hard work gives me tough pain, I rely on Panadol Ultra that relieves fast five types of tough pain. Take good advice. Take Panadol Ultra. Find your trusted Panadol Ultra with a new look. Local store at Lockman and Gans. It's where you'll find only the best of brands. 
Also got an automotive plus more. You'll find it all, you'll find it at the two store. At the two store, it's only two spot. St. Rose Funeral Services. We don't just say we care, we show that we care. 24 7 removal services. International shipping and embalming. Pre planned funeral arrangements with complete burial or cremation. Locally made caskets and coffins customized for your loved ones. Wreath, floral arrangements programs, prayer cards and mourners vehicles, maxi your car are all provided for your family's comfort. When you're leaving, leave in style. St. Rose Funeral Services, number 5 Bazalon Street, Tunapuna, 645-1075-337-9686. Allow us to honor your family members. RDK Welding and Fabricating is your only choice for windows, gates, handrails and more. We have expert craftsmen on hand to fabricate any design with the highest grade materials at affordable prices. Check out our latest sale on heavy duty security steel doors. Visit us next to the Diwali Nagar and Shikwanas or call 317-2236 or 719-0115 to speak with a sales rep. RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited, the king in fabricating. We at SNS Prasad know the struggle and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee a safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our station, lanes, trolleys, and baskets. Security to ensure observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household, and clothing items to meet the need of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities. Or even better, place an order for your groceries and we'll have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and licks. At Dennis Prasad, Rio Claro and My Arrow, we are here for you. Don't be fooled by other brands. Crime Watch Studios has the Dr. Davy and 4 Plus brands of hand sanitizers. Guaranteed to kill 99.9% .9 of viruses, germs, and bacteria. Get a gallon for $240 and 1.2 liters for $95. Place your orders now. Call 225-3250 or our hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. Let me tell you about this one. Information received from ASP Jiker and Attached Southern Division passed on to number one one number one two two four four Sergeant Mohammed Attached Table and Police Station that a marked police vehicle PDA four two five 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 five. Listen, the story was escorting two large trucks from a well-known company. Apparently, this this vehicle escorting two large trucks from a well-known company. The police vehicle appeared to be driven by a lone occupant. However, could not verify due to the heavy tint. Sergeant Mohammed and a party of officers from the Tableland Police Station, including Corporal Harry Passad and, and other officers, had caused to stop the said marked v police vehicle bearing registration PDA 4755 and a lone driver of East Indian wearing plain clothes was found driving the police car. He was approached and questioned and gave his name as Police Constable Ram Rup. A, a regimental number 101023 um, attached to a rang west. When questioned as to the escort, he made a verbal statement. Upon request for his police ID card, he immediately drove off the marked police vehicle. A chase ensued and the vehicle was intercepted a short distance away and the driver was held. A, a search was conducted and a driver's permit bearing the name Satish Ramsamuj. 24 years old of 17 St. John Road Avocat with photo bearing resemblance of the man that was driving the police car. Also found along his belonging was a, a fleet card and a, a gas invoice dated the 24th and the 621. Now the vehicle was brought back to the station along with Satish Ramsamuj. Both, both trucks being escorted as stationary and statements are being recorded at this time. The said, mark, the said mark police vehicle number was traced via chassis number, which revealed that the correct registration number for the vehicle was PBA 52555, which, is, which as per information obtained, is unserviceable and is lodged at the Komoto TTPS facility. Storage. ASP Jaikaran is presently 
and the station CSI CSI contacted. So ladies and gentlemen, you do not know if this vehicle was in robbery. This is a frightening thing. A man driving this car, blue lights, all kind of thing. Police. If they stop you on the road, you have to pull over. You don't know, you don't know this vehicle was using a kidnapping. You don't know what, you don't know what. And escorted. I want to know. So for the company, for this vehicle to be escorting two large trucks, this prominent company, this prominent company have to be linked up with the people who own this. This is a, listen, the commissioner of police at the get down to the bottom of this. Have to get down to the bottom of this. This is something else. And just to let you know, yeah, just to let you know, remember I told you 450 persons from Caribbean Airlines will be retrenched. 450 persons. And I said it here. I said it here. What you're selling home these people? You have people in Caribbean Airlines working for 50,000, 60,000 US dollars. You have a man outside there. He managing the whole account. Pressing button, want to send them this one. Don't send them nobody. Call back all the girls. Call back everybody and tell them you are going on. Let them know the struggle. Nothing else. Nobody are traveling. Nobody are moving right now. So we're going to try a thing. If you want to stay on, take a 40% 40, a 40 cut. But it's going from captain to cook. It's going from everybody up there. And man working for 40,000 US, you got to, I, I, I in charge, you got to take a 15 and cool yourself. Go up the road if you don't like it. But I put in my people first. I put in my people first. You don't have to send home nobody right now. And we can keep them and just work them as we go. As we go on better times coming, I have about three months' time. Everybody go back to their salaries. You can't cut, you can't take bread. You know it's 450 people on the bread who, who coming out here in the unemployed world right now? That Rowley has created. And it, as I tell you, this could have been avoided because it was just racket with the vaccine. Racket with the vaccine. Look today, lady. Remember I tell everybody, remember today, you remember I stood right here. Remember, I, I see everything I tell you. It coming to pass. Remember, I stood right here and I tell you. They're going after the pilots and them. I put up a, a document that was sent to the cap, to Captain Larry Imam Shah, chairman of the Tran Tobago Airline Pilot Association. Their, their captain, Imam, Imam, uh, Imam Shah. Further to our discussion yesterday morning and subsequent announcement by the CEO, I wish to formally advise the union of the possible need of a reduction in the workforce as it pertains to the pilot body. The pilot body. This is as indicated by the, CEO, by the CEO based on the revision of the strategic plan supported and industry expertise which proposes decreasing the aircraft fleet to much reduce passengers demand among other initiatives. While the final numbers have not yet been determined, a reduction in the fleet would potentially lead to the reduction in the pilot body from 95 to 115 persons. Look at that. Look at that. 115 persons. Just imagine that. That's the first paragraph. Look at that. Open up the lines for me. Look at that. Look at that. I will look at that. I will look at that. I will look at that today. Come back to me. I will look at that. You saw the port. You saw what you, you, you saw what they're doing with the port. Watch port. They're gonna privatize. He friend on them. The one percent on them go bring in what they want. They wanted to take over. They want. They, they want to take over tax and all too. They want container opening in their bedroom now. That is what the one percent want. This man Keith Rowley is, is is answering to the one percent. He's answering to them. He's not answering to you. He's not answering to the opposition leader. He's not answering to nobody. He's a law unto himself and he's answering to the one percent. The one percent calling the shots on this man. This man has sold this place to the one percent. So the one percent of them now, ladies and gentlemen, they will get the people to control the poor. They'll get the people to control the tax office and they want to take it over. And they want to privatize all that and get rid of all this tax thing and, and they want to take and do their own thing. And anytime you rile up, I bring up I bring a commissioner of police from Tobago for you. Or ask somebody I can control. He's smart. So why do it now? Because it's critical time. Watch and see, watch and see. And while all that going on again, look, I know I know somebody now send this to me on my email and some call chemical. This is what I am seeing. 
Lincoln Mendoza, Chief Labor Relations Officer, Oil Field Workers, proposed restructuring of, of the blow molding department and some car chemical. And some car looking to send them about 20, about 90, I think about 90 people. That is why here in about 90 people. So and some car chemical going to send them persons. Overall, the company proposal may result in 28 per, okay, no, 28 percent being redundant across five positions within the bargaining unit. This put now go to the second page. I hear it's more than that going home. I die why here in. In this regard, the company is confirming that the parties meet on Friday the 18th. Tomorrow is a critical day via Microsoft, my, uh, Microsoft Teams. As mutually agreed, the meeting link will be sent via email. What can I email? I don't want to email. I want to walk. Operator, operator 2, blow molding department. Operator 1, blow molding department. Quality attendant. Quality department. Technician 2. E and I technician two maintenance department. This is you know all this, all this could have been avoided. All this could have been avoided if the man did manage this thing properly. All this could have been avoided, but they don't care because they pocket fat. They pocket fat. When you pocket fat, you don't care about nobody who have an empty pocket. You don't care about nobody, ladies and gentlemen, who have an empty pocket. And imagine ah, all that going on. And the AG in Guyana cussing Trinidad. And they, I give them all right. I give them all right because we're looking bad. You put your stink mouth in Guyana business and say now they're giving fake vaccine. But Guyana pumping right now. Guyana is pumping right now. Place open, business open, shoes selling, everything selling. I wonder if it's still ever been us in Guyana. It's still ever been us in Guyana. Many years when I went to Guyana. I've been to Guyana a good few times. <laughs> I mean... Well, no, I went to a shoe shop called Beaners. I never forget it. Yeah, and they have the original, um, the original Clark store in, 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 in Guyana. And the best Chinese food. The, the best, it's the best. Boy, I don't know, I don't know. And when you talk, people vex and they vex, they swell up their mouth like a bullfrog. You swell up your mouth like a bullfrog. I only can talk. I only can talk. Only... But it's showing you what's going on. But this could have been avoided. We understand this pandemic is global. But compared to other nations, compare, compare to Uganda, Zimbabwe, that have population of 15 million, Bangladesh, 166 million, Uganda, 47 million. We, we are just a little drop. You know what's a drop in the sea? A drop in the sea. We are just a drop in the sea. And 18 billion pass through this island. An island, 18 billion. 18 billion. You bring Spanish, Spanish taking over everything. Spanish doing sanitation work now. They're on the back of the rubbish truck. All kind of things just going on in here, boy. And we people just going down, boy. And them going up, boy. But you can say, what about Trump now? He say America first, and the hell was with all all. You know, I come and I, I stand here today and say the hell was with everybody. Trinidad and Tobago first. We first. Chin Begonians first. I don't know about nobody else. We first at the hospital. We were with Grant. We were with vaccine. And telling me you and know what Pfizer coming, big liar. You and know what Pfizer, boy. But you want to hear you? I call. I good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello, Mr. Allen. Yeah, go Dr. ahead. Dr. Ram, Dr. Ramsami from Guyana. Say the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago is stupid. Is stupid and reckless. Yeah, he said it. He said, look, 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 I, look I, I, can, I, I can bring it to you. I can bring it to you with the AG talking. With the AG talking. Go ahead, we have that? Go ahead. That Guyana remains the country that has brought in to its borders the most vaccines the most vaccines and we have half the population of trinidad and tobago rowley has one of the most populous country and he measures it against grenada where there are about sixty thousand people half of whom are children he measures it against st vincent where you have a hundred thousand people and then he says Trinidad is doing well. Look how much St. Vincent has brought, bought in and how much Trinidad has. Trinidad has 1.9 million people. Those people got a couple thousand people. 
How can you compare the two? But anyhow, Anil Roberts made all those points and there is no need for me to waste time and energy on Prime Minister Rowley. I think he has been adequately addressed and condignly dealt with. That guy wow, there's a stink we look in. Imagine, imagine, imagine. That is our stink. And even the vice, the vice president and the former, the former president, Barrett Jack, they hear him, hear him, hear them. They're right. Unlike some countries that are totally shut down, look at Trinidad and Tobago. Look at the numbers there. And that country has been almost in a perpetual state of lockdown for the last past year. And it did not help really. They now have numbers 20 something dying in a single day, etc. So we have to keep people working to at least economic activities going and at the same time try to urge our people out. Like some hey boy, I wonder if I can get a Ghanaian passport right now, boy. Yeah, pick up a nice Ghanaian girl and go across the and start something, you know. Yeah, because we, we are going over here, you know, or go to America and, and maybe go and work somewhere and do something. We know that people like you and I, we just can't leave. We can't leave. We're not going to leave. We cannot leave. We cannot leave. Those people we follow. Imagine, look how we looking at Ghana. Look at the paper from BBC. Look at the document from BBC. Poor nation, watch. Trinidad is a poor, one of the poor nations. We rank in with Uganda, Zimbabwe, and Bangladesh. And 1.4 million people in this country. And all can kind of lies, and all can kind of lies, all can kind of lies, ladies and gentlemen. Rowley is too, you are too much of a bitter man. And, and just as Patrick Manning said, it has impaired. Pardon me? Let's take a fast break. Perfect, 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 perfect. Can't tell away, get them rims. Drive, I went to racetrack wheels for the best in brand name rims and the best in brand name tires for my car. Yeah, that's why I get my rims. <laughs> We at SNS Prasad know the struggle and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our station, lanes, trolleys, and baskets. Security to ensure observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing station throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household, and clothing items to meet the need of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities. Or even better, place an order for your groceries and we'll have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and licks. At Dennis Prasad, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Liberty Medical Center, a breakthrough in healthcare. We offer general practitioner and ultrasound services starting at $99. Our highly trained staff provides expert advice with specialists in endocrinology, diabetes, dermatology, and gynecology. General practitioners are available for all your medical needs. We offer x-rays, ultrasound, ECG, and full laboratory facilities to aid in your diagnosis and follow-up care. Also visit our in-house pharmacy, call 610-4562 or visit 154 Point of Air Road, San Fernando. Liberty Med Medical Center, where your health is our mission. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montreux Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Rami, pepper sauce, for oh, how you taste so good and we want more, more. Rami, pepper sauce, for oh, how you taste so good and we want more, more. Trick flavor, spicy soca, revive perfect blend of flavor. Super Revive Perfect blend of flavor Rami Pepper sauce The perfect blend of flavor
find only the best of brands. Also got an automotive plus more. You'll find it all, you'll find it at the tool store. At the tool store, it's only tools for journey our passion at Brandtech. visit us today at number 10 londonville main road montrose chaguanas or contact us at 672-8575 now open on saturdays stuff and drugs now open at heartland plaza in chaguanas first world drugstore with best prices and drugs vitamins toiletries stationery grocery items baby products and more we also carry british parliament held and water mara beans imported directly from italy bottle nexium allegra zitec gourmet foods and snacks a selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in trinidad so visit us today we at sns prasad know the struggle and fears of our beloved customers during this time to guarantee a safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our station, lanes, trolleys, and baskets. Security to ensure observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household, and clothing items to meet the need of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities. Or even better, place an order for your groceries and we'll have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and licks. At Zinnis Prasad, Rio Claro and My Arrow, we are here for you. The best for your baby is at thebesttoys.com. From the best strollers, car seats, baby carriers, high chairs, booster seats, rockers, jumpers and bouncers, walkers, baby blankets, feeding accessories, bathtubs, gyms and playmats, playpens, cribs, baby swings, changing tables, diaper bags, clothing and accessories, and the widest range of educational toys. Shop online at thebesttoys.com. We have nationwide delivery. Rami, que pasas? Oh, how you taste so good and we want more, more. So good and we want more, more. Three flavors, spicy soca, revive up, perfect blend of flavor. Spicy soca, revive up, perfect blend of flavor. Rami, pepper sauce, the perfect blend of flavor. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, a domestic dispute turned fatal as a close female relative stabbed her boyfriend to death in Cochrane early today. Early Thursday morning, 23-year-old Shadai Simon of Waterhole Road, Kokorit, lost his life on Thursday, 24th of June at, a, at about 12.15 a.m. Residents of the area heard a loud commotion and notified police. When officers arrived, they found uh, Simon's body lying in a truck of the road. He appeared to have two wounds to his neck. Now, the last man who was killed due to a domestic incident that took place on the Thursday, the 17th of June, Rion Rogers, a.k.a. Naughty of Building, C. Orchard Gardens, was strangled and stabbed during an argument on Thursday, the 17th of June. So, ladies and gentlemen, last night, a man was stabbed by a, a, a female relative. Also, um, a quantity of, of C4 explosive guns, ammunition, ammunition were discovered in the vicinity of the Golden Grove Prison, Aruka, by officers of the Special Operations Response Team sought last night. One 9mm pistol loaded with a magazine containing 15 rounds of ammunition at war. Oh, somebody want to do it hot, boy. Somebody want to do it hot. Also, a firearm and quantity of ammunition was seized by officers of Northern Division during an operation strike back conducted in Champflair early this morning at 27 and a 28-year-old bo old. Both of Champflair was arrested for possession of firearm. Also, a PH driver was found murdered at his home in Matarita yesterday morning. He's been identified as Justin Martin. Justin Martin. Oh, um, Matura, sorry. The officers went to Martin's home and after she noticed a, a red substance flowing from under the, the front door, family grew suspicious and they called 
police. Wow, unbelievable. Also imagine you in a gym and attempted robbery at your home. Jim was captured on camera during a live workout session on Wednesday. Well, them guy woke out session but from the bandits. Detective received security camera footage from the street which captured a hooded hooded men pulling out on the out on the street and entering the premises where the workout video of the Guru Gang gym was being transmitted. Look at this. Way boy. Normal, normal, and a normal, normal. You are your little thing going, watch. Bandit, you know. Bandit, you know. And I see so much of big stone in here, eh? Watch. People running, you know. Running, and everybody running. Watch when the bandit now reach. Watch it. Hey boy. Also, ladies, also, ladies and gentlemen, there was a fire at the um, hold on. Suspected arsonist attempt to burn down the office of the UNC Councillor Richard Sogdale, located in Kunopi on Wednesday night. According to a police report, Councillor Richard Sogdale said about 4 p.m. he secured the office located at Lampos 272 Southern Main Road, Kunopi, and left. However, 9 p.m. Sogdale was contacted and was told that the building was on fire. Just into the way from this window here. It came, it broke the louvers, it came to the louvers, it fell inside my office here. And apparently the, the flames went up into the drapes, onto the curtain, onto the carpet and the floor. So we have some damages, the louvers, the drapes, uh, the carpet, the desk. So um, that's the physical damages as, as to, um, I was asked why something like this, I really have no information. No idea why something like this could happen. To my office, I'm only here just about three to four months, and um, it's rather a strange situation. I don't know if it's there's no issues with any persons or anything. Um, I really can't say the police, the fire, the relevant authorities uh, came last night, they are coming back in a while to um, continue further investigations. Oh, yeah, I tell you, this place is hot, and this place is hot, this place is hot, this place is hot. Hey, I want to see a special, a special, um. Happy birthday to a young man. Hold on. But I feel, hmm, I just sad, yes, I just sad. Arian Saga, a 12 year old. He's 12 today. Yeah, hold on. Right, so um, coming from his, his mom, Nisha, brother, Akash, Arvin. All right, take out a photo with family members. Really, 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 and also I want to say a special hello to, uh, happy birthday to um, his uncle, Anand, 53. He's 53 today. Wow. But you know, I just want to go back to this boy, this 12-year-old boy. Also, Harry, uh, Arian Saga. You know, it is so sad, yeah? You know who is his father? His father's name is Paro. Imagine today you are 12 years and your, your dad, you're not wrong. Like Paro, remember the guy in the blue jersey? I really want to bring up that now because now everybody watching. But you know, his father died a couple of weeks ago. Like Omar, my good friend, Paro and I. I was supposed to go up to the little child, they'll eat up and whatnot and then, you know, they have, you know. Because you remember, my boy, boy hmm. I tell you, that's pain in it. Today, you know, you are 12 years and you're not father, boy. Well, you know, watch me, you're bright, you're an intelligent little boy, and you'll make your daddy proud. And to your mom and everybody, we love them, you know. Also, I want to say a special happy birthday to Shannon Ali. Okay? Shannon, how are you going, girl? How much is well, how much is Shannon? I have 22. 28 now, Shannon is my girl. Shannon, all the best. You'll send a piece of cake for me tomorrow, right? You know, hey... You know, back to the story with the police, with the police are trying, the, the, the police are transporting the vehicles with the, the, the fake police car. Watch when police pull them over. Look at the video. Go ahead. Watch. He drive off, right? Watch. Watch, watch, watch. Watch, watch, watch. He drive off. So police, that, that, that have to be like, um, 
Sergeant Mohammed and Corporal Harry Passard and them. Watch. Is Ronnie running in front of the car? He abandoned the police van. What the jail? What the jail is this boy? Police intercepting police vehicle. I tell you this place is real hot enough. But he done bust out of the car already. Somebody knows send this to me. Well, um, somebody said they will send me all the information after. Imagine how police running on police there. Eh? But he's a fake police officer and there's a fake car with the. Hey boy. Now you remember the car, right? The same the car driven by a young boy. His name is Satish. The driver's permit bearing the name Satish Ram Samuj, a 24-year-old or 17th St. John Road advocat with photo bearing resemblance to him, which identified him as the, as the driver. Now the scar, the, the, the said mark police vehicle number was traced to was traced via chassis number which revealed that the correct registration number for the vehicle was PBA 5255 which is which is which as per information obtained is unserviceable and is lodged at the Komoto TTPS so they put a fake number on it so what they did it is a legitimate police car it is a, it is a real police car but they put a fake number plate because the car is registered to Komoto where it fixed him but then that is real craziness boy that is real bacchanal Ladies and gentlemen, so much to tell you, but no more time. Remember, whatever you have to do, whatever you have to do, make sure you get your ad on Crime Watch. And again, I'm appealing for those to you who are listening to me right now. I need hampers. I really need hampers. The account number is there. Go to any First Citizen Bank. Today we give out the last hundred and the last hundred and sixty. I want to thank God. Thank God. I want to say thank God for Narish. Yeah, Narish, thanks again for the 100. The pharmacy in Tobago. And ladies and gentlemen, I w we want to get hampers. I really, really want to get hampers. I want to get, I have no more. It's finished. And I, I, we went all over Trinidad. All over Trinidad. I think from now, I think the next time we get hampers, I think I want to go out. I want to go out. And maybe take different areas and whatnot. I know some of you have been texting me, and, but just, we already have a list. And as the list come, more people come, and more people, and more people. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll come back. I'll be here to tell you what's going on. You see what's going on with the port. You see what's going on with the airport. You see what's going on with answer, answer McCall Chemical. People going home. Tomorrow, I'll tell about the, the guy who was selling the broom. Across, yeah, tomorrow is Friday. I'll give you a nice human interest. Yeah, the guy who was selling the broom, a story about him. It's just unbelievable. I'm out of time. You all WhatsApp me on 294-4081. But remember, let me tell you something. Nobody is coming to bully us. And we will expose them every step we get. Every step. Listen to me. Every step. Every, every step we get, we will expose them. Every step we get. Because somebody had to come out and talk. Somebody had to stand up for the people in Trinidad and Tobago. I don't care what kind of, sh what kind of stupidness people will message me this and that. And I don't care because Raul Yai fans, and I believe me, Yai fans. He'll believe me, Yai fans. But let me tell you something. I come out to talk. And I come out to stand up for what is right. And wherever it takes me, so be it. I am Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. There's nothing to watch before and nothing to watch after. Go and make a roti, go and eat dinner, and relax all your head. I'll talk to you later tomorrow. Love you all. Bye bye. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there, and the hunt is on. A jungle out there, and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crime, much if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by the fence It's still crime, much came and give TNT, crime